Hi, my name is Kain San Monoye, and thank you for joining me as we start our discussion of this brand new knowledge area, and that is project time management. We are going to look at all the processes in the project time management knowledge area. Before we do that, let's take a brief overview of what time management is all about according to the Pinball Guide 5th edition. Project time management includes the processes required to manage the timely completion of the project. Project schedule development uses the outputs from the processes to define activities, sequence activities, estimate activity resources and estimate activity duration in combination with a scheduling tool to produce the scheduled model. The finalized and approved schedule is the baseline that will be used in the control schedule process. As the project acti activities are being performed, the majority of the efforts in the project time management knowledge area will occur in the project and the control schedule process to ensure completion of project work in a timely manner. Having gotten this overview, Let's look at all the processes in the Project Time Management Knowledge Area. Overview of the Project Time Management Processes. The first one is the plan schedule, establishes the policies to be used for time or schedule management, define activities, identifying and documenting actions to be taken, sequence activities, it means to identify the relationship among activities, estimate activity resources, to estimate the type and quantity of materials needed, estimate activity duration, estimate the number of work periods needed, develop schedule, create the project schedule model, and then control schedule. This is not control scope but it's control schedule it's control schedule and not control scope okay so what we have should be control schedule all right so let's start with the first one plan schedule management now, according to the Pinboard Guide, Plan Schedule Management is a process of establishing the policies, procedures and documentation for planning, developing, managing, executing and controlling the project schedule. The key benefit of this process is that it provides guidance and direction in how the project schedule will be managed throughout the project. All right, let's now take a look at the ITTOs of the plan schedule management process. The inputs are the project management plan. We also have the project charter, enterprise environmental factors, and organizational process assets. The tools and techniques are expert judgment, analytical techniques, and meetings. We only have one output from the plan schedule management and that is the schedule management plan. As usual, we are going to discuss each of these ITTOs and then that will make it easier for us to remember these inputs, tools and techniques and outputs. So the question we are, will be asking is why do we need this particular input for this process? Projects management plan as an input to plan time management or plan schedule management actually so this should be plan schedule management we need the project management plan and the project management plan contains information used to develop the schedule management plan which includes the scope baseline Remember, the scope baseline is a work breakdown structure, 
and also the scope statement on the WBS dictionary. Three of them make up the scope baseline. We also need the project charter. We need the project charter because it defines the summary milestones schedule and project approval requirements that will be that will influence the management of the project schedule. So already a summary schedule as it here is defined here in the project charter. Enterprise environmental factors and organizational process assets are part of the inputs to plan schedule management. What are the tools and techniques used to plan schedule management? We have expert judgment, analytical techniques and meetings. Already we've discussed expert judgment in a previous presentation and we say that expert judgment, which is also guided by historical information, provide valuable insight about the environment and information from prior or similar projects. Expert judgment has to do with leveraging on the expertise of experts in the industry. For instance, professionals, subject matter experts, maybe the sponsor, maybe the customer, hear from them and they will give you ideas to help you plan schedule management. Then we also have analytical techniques. Analytical techniques has to do with use of such scheduling methodology, methodology as uh, scheduling tools and techniques, estimating approaches, formats, project management software, and so on and so forth. As we discuss this process, we are going to get more clarification on these analytical techniques. And then another tool and techniques we need is meetings. Just simple. Project teams sit together and discuss how do we plan schedule management. What of the output of the plan schedule management? Simple, just one schedule management plan. A component of the project management plan. Remember, the project management plan is a collection of all other subsidiary plans and baselines including process improvement plan, requirement management plan. Alright, a component of the project management plan that establishes the criteria and the activities for developing, monitoring and controlling the schedule. The schedule management plan may be formal or informal, highly detailed or broadly framed based upon the needs of the project and includes appropriate control thresholds. Schedule management plan can establish the following. Label of urgency, units of measure, control threshold, rules of performance measurement, reporting formats, and process description. Maybe I will explain briefly some of these items. Let's look at level of accuracy. This is the acceptable range used to determine realistic activity duration estimates and is that is specified and may include an amount of contingencies. We also have units of measures to be used. So these are the output of plan schedule management. Then the next presentation is going to be define activities. I'd like to thank you for viewing and please check the next presentation which will be define activities.